Tyson first came back, what did that mean to you? How did you feel out there? Well, it was a blessing to be out there with my guys, um, you know, playing a game that I love. So it was very exciting. You know, had a lot of fun out there, especially since we got the win. How tough was it to watch the defense kind of been struggling the last month? You weren't able to help, um, but to now be back out there with them. Oh, it was tough, um, but you know, I tried to do the best I can just to be a leader and you know, give certain input on what I saw from the sideline and and just you know, continue to you know, uplift the guys and, and continue to stay positive. So. Uh, not have an opportunity to be back on the field, you know, just still keep that mindset of, you know, being uplifting, being a leader, being by example. But just main, mainly focus on just having fun, being smart, and then we'll be fine after that. We got a bunch of talented guys in this group. We saw some, some player changes, some defensive changes to begin the game, um, some issues at first. Were you guys trying to kind of work through that, and then what was the message at halftime? Uh, just, just play smart football. You know, we had a lot of you know, silly penalties, um, you know, a lot of, was putting in a lot of positions where we kind of like, you know, gave them plays, but, um, you know, you know, we huddled up before a drive, I think it was going into the second quarter, you know, I, I huddled the guys up, just like, hey, it's us, you know, just as long as we play smart, have fun, play to the whistle, they, they can't beat us, and uh, we fixed it, and we got the result we wanted. Is that what it takes sometimes? Because it feels like when you're losing, everything goes wrong. But just kind of take a breath and realize, yeah. get back to the way you play. Yeah, you got to take a breath, hone in on your keys, you know, play smart football, and everything else will take care of yourself. Did, did this team need a little bit of that, uh, the 10 nothing to be able to answer it and kind of prove that hey, you can overcome some of that adversity, build a little character, if you will? I mean, we've had adversity this whole season. So I don't think that was the issue. It was just really just us, you know, fixing the silly mistakes that we were making early in the game and just, um, you know, playing our brand of football. As long as we do that, play fast, have fun. Simple. Hey, what does this one mean for you guys after a long week here? Uh, it means a lot. Obviously, that's what we were looking for, a win, and that's what we got. So uh, we we'll take this momentum and carry it back into the States. You didn't have some early. What does it mean that you were able to flip the script uh, in the second quarter? Uh, it really meant a lot. And, I, and me personally, I uh, – I could take some of that responsibility because that first touchdown, that was on me. And uh, obviously just coming into the finishing the game and doing everything that I know I could do, which is execute every play. And so uh, that's what I feel like we did going on for the rest of the game and everything was clicking. How much are you guys still just trying to find yourselves out there? And, and obviously it's easier to find yourself in a win. Say that one more time for me. How much are you trying to find yourselves on defensively still throughout these games? Uh, like I wouldn't say finding ourselves. It's just us executing our job. That's our, that's our main deal on defense because we have everything. We have all the pieces I feel like that we need. And we just have to go out there and execute. You've been closing some games now with a, with a big sack. Is you, you just hit another gear there? In that moment, yeah, obviously it's another gear, but that's just one of those ones where you keep going, whole game, just, just staying at it, continuously being relentless. I know you guys know you like this locker room, you like what you have talent-wise, but how important now is it to get two and, and start rolling a little? Oh, it's definitely important. Like I, said, like I said earlier, we just have to continue this, this momentum as we get, go back home. Obviously, it's a home game, so we're looking forward to going in and put on for the Jacksonville. One last one for me. Andre obviously said what he said after last week. Is it a big deal that you guys responded the way you did as a team? Uh, most definitely. Uh, like I said, um, most definitely it was for us all just to continuously stay together as a unit like we know we can be and as a franchise in general, uh, we needed that. We definitely needed that. Talk a lot about you, the team and the unit, but for you personally, you talk about giving up that first touchdown to get the sack to then pretty much kill the game. How big is that for you personally? Oh, that's major. Obviously, uh, that was one of those ones that put them in a little more critical position. I want to say it was like third and 12 and made it like a fourth and 20 something. So uh, obviously that was a big play to help push them back even further. And we just got to continue to stay at it as a unit. And my, the secondary, they did a good job of holding up for me and time enough for me to get there. When we spoke here in London last year, there was a lot of talk about turning production into sacks, into numbers. You've now got 10 in your last 11. Really should have been 11. That one last week should have counted. So what do you think's changed for you in that year since you were last in London? Uh, me just keeping my head down and staying true to who I am. Uh, I'm, I'm my toughest critic. And obviously, I, I know a lot of things that I could have worked on in previous years. And even still to this day, I have a lot of stuff that I can still continuously work on. And I'm far from scratching the surface to be the best I can be. So I just got to keep my head down and keep striving. And my teammates help help keep me driven, even though I don't need them to keep me driven. It's just everybody's always pushing each other to be the best version of themselves that they can be.